Good evening, international Basel fans. Uh, welcome here to the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. We're live here at the Ironetta Coliseum in Manila. But before we get started, enjoy the local Kamabayan talents. As we just said, when you win, you win for all. And tonight, a win will see one of these two teams join the Italians for the quarterfinals of the FIBA Basel World Cup, the 19th edition of World Basel's highest competition. Currently, it's going to be the Dominican Republic as they take on Serbia. Well, good evening, everybody. I am your commentator, Josh Ben, alongside the great coach, Will Voigt. Coach, this is going to be an epic showdown between two very good teams. Well, win and you're in. Serbia trying to regroup from the tough loss that they had against Italy, knowing that everything's on the line here tonight. Well, the Serbians, of course, needing a quick turnaround after that disappointing loss to Benchim on Dominican Republic. The same goes for them, a surprise defeat, and their first ever defeat here at the FIBA Basel World Cup against Puerto Rico. Yeah, you know, they were disappointed there and put themselves in position to move forward, losing to their rivals in the last game. Well, these Serbian players, you look at this team on, on paper, I mean, they're probably the greatest team, if not one of the best teams here in the FIBA Basel World Cup. And you can see Nikola Belutin off the big man. He'll have his hands big here tonight as he has to go up against Carl Anthony Towns three times, NBA All-Star with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, Serbia has been an offensive juggernaut in the top three of so many different categories. 97.5 points per game. That's second at the World Cup. And they are first with 24.3 points off of turnovers. So they want to use that pressure defense to get out and run where they are so dangerous in the open court. This Dominican Republic team, I mean, confidence is not an issue. They are rewriting history. This is the fourth time they've featured in a few of World Cup. They did feature in the World Cup that was hosted here in 1978 in this arena. And that was their highest ever finish. But now it's about making their own destiny, creating their history. And of course, so many great players. There you can see Victor Lee's coming out. But there's Kidiones. There's Andreas Feliz as well. Man coming out just right there. Plays for Hobart 2 Badalona. This is a very good team, coach. Well, they have embraced that underdog role. The last time they played Serbia in the 2021 Olympics, they lost 94 to 76. But they didn't have this man right here, Carl Anthony Towns. And what a difference he makes for this group. Again, it's always great. It's all about the countries representing where you're from. And Carl Anthony Towns exemplifying the true Basel patriotism for playing the Dominican Republic. Debuted with them 10 years ago, of course. But again, he has really adapted and thrived in the international game. Well, he has been tremendous. If there are any questions about his ability to play at the international level, those were put to rest. 39 points, 10 rebounds against Puerto Rico. Virtually unstoppable. They're going to need another huge game from him here tonight. Well, there you can see Montero, one of the top scorers in the Spanish ACB. But that man there, Bogdan Bogdanovich, is going to go up against his NBA rival, Carl Anthony Towns. This is going to be, I mean, you want to see this game go right down to the wire. 
Yeah, no question about it for Bogdanovich trying to rebound for the tough shooting night against Italy. Just one for 13 from three in that game. Well, the Italians got their victory. Their ticket to the quarterfinals will be at the Mall of Asia Arena. But now, ladies and gentlemen, if you can, we kindly ask that you pay respect and homage and stand for the national anthems of Serbia and the Dominican Republic. National anthems of two beautiful countries have been sung. Coach Pesic, a champion in 2002 with the former Yugoslavia. I mean, coach players such as the great Vladi Divac, Peja Stojakovic, Dejan Budaroga, Marko Jaric, Milan Gorovic to a finals win in Indianapolis against Argentina. Well, now we introduce our three referees for tonight's game. We have Johan Rosso, our lead referee, coming from France, Luis Castillo from Spain, and from Latvia, we have Gatis Salins. We're very proud to say that we have some of the finest referees here in World Basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here for the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup final matchup here of the second round of the Araneta Coliseum between Serbia and Dominican Republic. Well, we're going to take a look at the starting lineups of these two teams. And no doubt, of course, Bogdan Bogdanovic off a really bad shooting night against the Italians, 1-13 for from the perimeter. Hopefully, Coach Pesic will be hoping that his superstar turns it around, Coach. Yeah, they're going to need him to recruit from that poor shooting night. You know, interestingly, in, in that third quarter of that game when Italy came back, Serbia time and time again went to Bogdanovic with him coming off a of ball screen. It's a little bit of a change in style of play. Curious to see if they go back to that motion offense, really sharing the ball amongst the entire group. Now you just sort of started a lot of they can see that we have Bogdan Bogdanovic currently averaging 18 points in the game with 5.3 assists. But the only change in the Serbian starting lineup, an interesting first start here for Marinkovic. No, he hasn't started in any game so far. Yeah, interesting that they're going with him here, relying a little bit on the experience right now. Well, there you can see Nikola Malutinov had a double-double against the Italians. But coach, what's interesting about Malutinov, 
He was the one player the Italians just couldn't defend in that game. And once they took him out of the game, Pesci's made the sub in the third quarter when they were up by 16. It all went downhill for the Serbs. Well, Milutinov has been so solid for them at this tournament, averaging a double-double. Been really difficult, especially when he is sealing out of those pick and rolls. They found him close to the basket on several times against Italy. Well, there was coach Svetislav Pesic. And again, this is a winner takes all, as you said, coach, win and you get into this the quarterfinals. Already the Italians have booked their tickets. But when we look at this Dominican Republic team, I mean, no doubt, of course, the big name is going to be Carl Anthony Towns. But, you know, one of the players that really hasn't shown his limelight that we've seen in the NBA G League is Quinones. Yeah, they're going to need Quinones to step up for him. Only shooting 14% from the three-point line, and he's somebody that can really score. So let's see. You know, you see him starting here. Let's see if he can get going early on, provide that second scoring punch next to Carl Anthony Towns. Now, this is a smaller lineup. No Eloy Vargas in the starters for the Dominican Republic. And Hill Delgado, who does come off the bench. The interesting is that they go with a big lineup, but then they go with a much smaller lineup that we were accustomed to seeing in the FIBA World Cup American qualifiers. Well, Delgado gives them low post scoring, so you know Carl Anthony Towns is going to be out on the perimeter at the beginning of this game. But one of the adjustments they've made that I liked is going to Pena at the four, allowing Carl Anthony Towns to kind of roam from inside and outside. Well, Andreas Feliz, as we mentioned, playing in the Spanish ACB with one of the greatest clubs in the history of world basketball, Hobbit 2 Badalona. But currently in the World Cup, averaging just under a triple-double, five rebounds and five assists short. I mean, he is really the ultimate go-to player in the backcourt for this Dominican team. Well, he has been lights out from the three-point line, 64% on 22 attempts so far in this World Cup. Well, he's got a new haircut today. I saw him when he got off the coach, and he said, I'm ready for today's game. This guy embraces the underdog story. Yeah, he really does. Once again, leading a group. <laughs> Looks like a little bathroom emergency there for Coach, but he uh, he has really embraced that role of the underdog. We saw it with Venezuela once again here, leading the Dominican Republic to the cusp of the quarterfinals. You know, for the Serbians, there is an expectation to fall in the top four. This is a very good team, as we mentioned, but going back to the Dominican Republic, let's not forget how they got here in the first place. It was 40 minutes on the final sixth and final window of the 2023 FIBA Barca World Cup qualifiers. They were trailing to Argentina by 17 points and found a way back and won that game. The man coaching them, of course, used to be coached by Argentina, but was relieved from his duties. So again, let's listen now to what the coaches have to say in the build-up to this game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our official sponsor, the Tissot Countdown, the tip-off is underway, and a big shout-out and thank you to Tissot, the official partner of FIBA. That's been a great partnership and collaboration with International Basketball, so big shout-out and thank you to Tissot. Well, again, it was a relevation for them to top the group and to sweep the Italians, the Filipinos, and the Angolans. But now after losing to Puerto Rico, they find themselves on the back edge. Of course, coming to this game, Serbia, the heavy favorites coach. Yeah, no question about that. Obviously disappointed that they weren't able to seal this group with the win against Puerto Rico. So here they are with the tall task of upsetting this very tough Serbian team. Well, Cap ready for business. It's going to be a question to see how he goes up against Nikola Milutinov. Now, we know Milutinov is a phenomenal post defender, great rim protector, but Cap's going to bring him away from the pass. Okay. Could we see Nikola Jovic match okay. up with him defensively, potentially? Yeah, I think to start this game, that, that for sure that's where they'll go. Uh, you, you know, be curious to see if Cap, when he moves to the five, will Serbia then go smaller, try to match up with Pena on the perimeter when he's at that four spot? Well, to all of our fans in Serbia, Dobrovečes, Dravo, Kakose, Dobrodošli. And to all of our fans in the Dominican Republic, Buenas tardes, bienvenidos, and vámonos. 
Well, it will be Serbia who have the first possession. And for hands of Serbia, Dominican Republic coming into the game is Marinkovic getting an early troika. Wow, making Coach Pesic look good there with the start, knocking in his first three. A situation from Groups A and B. Will we see two European teams go to the quarterfinals, or will we get a representation from the FIBA America? Back on baseline now. Take it on Jovic, and again, if they're going to put Jovic on him, Coach, he's going to take the young fella down in the low block. Yeah, I like that, you know, going to the double post look there. He's going to have a physical advantage over Jovic. And you see Marinkovic getting the start on Feliz, trying to put some size there, try to cool him off. One thing about this Dominican team, they are physical. Jovic throws up the alley-oop and the putback in by Milutinov. Yeah, beautiful pass there from Jovic. Milutinov once again finishing. So got to find Colin Anthony Towns. NBA rookie against three-time NBA All-Star. Time with the one-legged fadeaway. Doesn't get this one. But this is what Delgado will do. He'll get you offensive boards. He only scores up for a three. He'll take this one. One thing about the Serbians, they don't give away a lot of second chances. In the lay down, a nice little finish here by Bogdan. Bogdanovic. Yeah, and you saw Kenyonia is trying to crash after his shot. That led to the lead gout from Bogdanovic. Transition defense so important against this Serbia team. Well, Bogdanovic had a tough night against the Italians. One for 13 for the perimeter. Well, wide open finds Victor Lees. And again, a nice give and go and a cut to the basket by Lees. Beautiful pass from Delgado. You saw the split action up top there. Lees able to cut, and that's what he does best. Marinkovic getting a handoff for Jovic. Oh, what a time there, but again, too much sauce in that one. First turnover of the game. Now you see the split action up top. Lee is so crafty at sneaking by in his man. Well, you like to see that from the big man. Lutinov catching that mid air with one hand and just throwing it down. Havala. Dominican Republic trying to get it to a set. Delgado posting up against Malutinov. Too much on that one again. A little bit careless there from Angel Delgado. Serbian fans embracing the occasion. Again, you gotta love this. The home crowd appreciate that. The Cababayan Locos. Well, Cababayan being those Filipinos actually born here in the motherland. Lovic coming off the screen. Has up the three. Can't get it. Probably unable to secure the offensive ball, but it's a turnover as Kidiones knocks it out of bounds. That will be Serbia ball on the baseline. <laughs> Serbia trying to get this inbound, but Delgado just kicking off his right foot, so that will remain Serbia ball on the baseline. Find Jovic. Delgado just becoming a bit of a defensive nightmare here for the Serbians. Yeah, that's twice now he's been able to deflect that inbounds pass. See Serbia going to a different set here this time. Well, Jovic was wide open on the back screen. Finding Bogdanovic. He's trying to close him out. Good help side defense. Marinkovic has made one three again. Can't do this one. This is what are you going to see from Nikola Malutinov? Boggy in the corner, goes for a quick three, and again, the fadeaway Troika. And the Serbian fans loving that, as is Bogdanovic trying to shake off those shooting woes from the last game. Towns goes for a three, he can make these. And Tom Anthony Towns, sinking that one right in the face of Nikola Jovic. But a quick transition, there you can see, I mean, how quickly the Serbians just get the ball up the floor, coach. They're so good in the open court. There's no time to celebrate. You have to sprint back on every possession if you're the Dominican Republic. I mean, that's a case of scenario there that, you know, Serbia, one of those teams, if you make mistakes, they'll make you pay. But if you get things right, coach, they'll still make you pay. Well, they're top three in just about every offensive category for a reason. They can score in the half court and deadly in the open court. He only space the pass. That's going to be called against Marinkovic. 
the tempo to this game so far. Two teams that swept their groups. They picked up their first, defeated the crossover. Looking for a handoff, but turning it over. Serbia's defense just making it very tough here for Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, a little unforced error there from Carl Anthony Towns. Yoga's being got it by Kat. Be killing up that screen again, trying to loot it off. And my goodness gracious! Well, first come, first come, first serve in the restaurant here. Malutinov just serving up an entree. Oh, beautiful pass once again. You see their motion offense finishing with a Spanish pick and roll. The loose pump fakes. Kicks out to Kid Yones. Didn't get his last three, but contact. Still can't get it. Again, the rim protection. So the Serbia's defense making this suffocating here for the Dominican Republic. Well, that is an Ole moment there by Angel Delgado, just preventing the wide open dot. But again, while well, Boggy went off the pick, Boggy threw it up and found Malutinov with the connection. Itelmu, Serbia. Yeah, beautiful pass there from Bogdanovic. Seven point lead to the Serbians. Which one in circles around the ball streets goes into the fang roll, can't get it. Malutinov just too big. That's going to be Dominican ball. Good hands by Andreas Feliz. Well, great job by Feliz of scrapping in there, doing his best to battle with Milutinov, able to force the turnover. Public trying to get it to a half court set. What this team likes to do is go from the perimeter. Well, there's going to be a foul against Nikola Jovic. No, I think they're going to call it. Well, they're going to call an offensive foul. Well, it's interesting that it came from the trailing official there. He had probably the worst view, but you can see there's a little bit of a hook there from Cat. I like the call. Well, Cat needs to try and just stay focused in this game. His input is going to be the key thing that separates these two teams. Jovic now, pick and pop, goes for three. Can't get it, Feliz trying to push this one. This is nice move now by Andreas Feliz. Again, too strong on the mid-range. So be looking to extend the lead back to play again, Marinkovic. Well, he is just doing everything right here for the Serbians. And now, Coach Jeb Garcia, he's going to call time out as his team trail by nine points here in the first quarter. And a beautiful pass there from Jovic. You see Serbia getting out and run at the beginning of this game. You see why they're so good in the open court. Beautiful pass and finish from Marinkovic. Well, the no-look time coming from Jovic. Finding Marinkovic's back door. Let's go and listen momentarily as Nesta Garcia, his assistant, he's still on the court right now. He's talking with his assistant coach, Daniel Sioni. Let's go and listen now as he heads into the huddle. Well, there you can just see the advanced stats brought to you by FIBA by Bogdanovic everywhere he's traveling on the floor. And again, those advanced stats, what they highlight, Coach, we, we've clarified this. This man knows how to move off the ball. Well, this whole team knows how to move. Their guards so well versed in changing pace, getting out and running in transition, and Jovic doing a great job of fighting them. Well, my Rate Priatelli, my friend and my brothers, we like to call this back and now. That has got to be the MVP right now. <laughs> well, uh, we saw his Puerto Rican counterpart a few days ago. Basketball is definitely a little nervous around these fans. 
Those outfits, the point of each one just kind of remind me of some Halloween game going for she the one that Bass will be used as a helmet. Nine points of deficit. And he's being heavily defended by Jovic. Cat looking to attack now. Cat going all the way. Again, on oh, stumble right at the end of the shot clock. Yeah, and Jovic needs to make Cat go to his left hand there. You don't want to see him be able to go from the top of the key to the rim, driving right. Montero trying to fight around the bull screens. Donovan loops it off. This is where Serbia will have the advantage. Delgado, yeah, it's going to be helpless. Somebody needs to come a double team. Yeah, you see all the Dominican defenders staying on the perimeter. That's going to be a tough matchup for Delgado. They don't come with at least a little bit of help there. He's trying to pump fake. Number 10 on the shot clock. Being defended by Jovic, draws a foul. Foul is going to be called on the ground. That's going to be the second team foul again, Serbia. Yeah, well, that's better defense from Jovic. He has to trust the help behind him, though. You see Milutinov there ready to come on that rotation. Don't need to bail Cat out there with the foul. That's going to be another foul. I'm not sure if this one's on Marinkovic or... Oh, it's on Jovic again. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be frustrating. Quick two fouls there for the youngster. Well, David Dobats coming back in, coming into the game for the first time here for Serbia. Montero trying to use the ball screen. Time winding down here for Dominican Republic. Delgado trying to back down. He has to shoot this 24 second violation. Again, suffocated defense from Serbia, making the Dominican Republic choke under intense pressure. Well, they need better clock recognition there, both Delgado and Lees. Delgado probably needing to go up with that shot, kicked it out very late in the clock. Delgado Davidovats. Here comes the pick and roll scene again with Boggy Amalutinov. Boggy pulls up, the shot is up, and Toyka yet again. And you love to see that if you're Serbia. Two for two now from three-point line for Bogdanovic. 12-point lead for the Serbians. He tries another three. Had his face. Just can't get it. Dovac's crashed the board. Serbia. Over the long ball. Fires Bogdanovic. Brinkovic three. Corner. Pojka! And again, Serbia's transition becoming. I want to call this Serbsku Kosharku. Transition play. Fifteen point lead to Serbia. Montero finds Lees. The contact there, no foul called. Not trying to fight for the rebound. Serbia again, getting head by Bogdanovic. Pump fakes goes up, and again Serbia in total control of this game. They call timeout. Dominican Republic. They want to talk it over. But coach, this is incredible basketball. You are witnessing greatness. Well, the issue for the Dominican Republic right now, those wing defenders, they are going to leak out on these contests. Dominican Republic needs somebody in the top of the key getting back and protecting the paint. The shooters aren't really in position to do that because their man is going to be out ahead of them. We've seen several times now where they're able to kick ahead to those streaking wing players. Well, Bogdanovich just makes a big difference on both ends of the floor, but they can't look at the three-pointers. I mean, he is a renowned Troika man. He just takes a catch and shoot off the dribble fade. So, I mean, that's why he's a top player in the NBA, coach. Well, he can definitely fill it up. And what a start there from Bogdanovich and Marinkovic, getting the start from Coach Pasic and really rewarding the coach for that brilliant start to this game. Ten points so far here for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Well, they're going to keep 
They're going to keep Malutinov here on the floor. The Republic needs some composure in their game so far. And Roberto Mendoza checking in for the first time. And the DR going back to that smaller lineup with Peña at the four. I like this decision. See if he can get Cat off some rolls. Well, Feliz goes in and just dissects down the defense. Makes a little bit of contact, but gets it to drop. Yeah. Check into the game along with Abramovich. Delgado's got to be strong here. It's going to be a foul here against Angel Delgado. That's a mismatch. Oh, it's Pena, excuse me. Coach, that is a mismatch all night long here for Malutinov. Yeah, I'm really surprised that that's how they're matching up. When Pena comes in the game, you would expect him to be on Dobrodovich with Kat taking Milutinov. DR electing to go the other way, and that's a tough cover for Pena in the post. Yeah. Lurich come around the screen now. That's a reverse pass. It's just sublime movement here from the Serbians. Yeah, we see that same Spanish pick and roll play. They have so much movement coming into it. You see Feliz caught here with the extended arm. Well, I'd say there that well, the referees, yeah, they'll took this over. Andreas Feliz, yeah, he's going to get teed up. Teed up for throwing the ball aggressively at the referee. And a bit of a delayed technical there. I mean, Johan Rosso didn't want to originally call it but then reviewed it with Luis Castillo, and I think that's the right call, Coach. I mean, the way that he lobbed the ball at the referee, you just, you can't afford those mental errors right now. Yeah, well, a lot of frustration there from Feliz. Nothing going the DR's way right now. Coach Garcia is going to have to come up with something defensively here, try to change the rhythm of the game. Serbia now leading by 18 points. The first quarter hasn't even finished yet. 126 to go. Trying to run around the screens. Big congestion here in Serbia's offense. Five here on the clock, trying to take on against Mendoza. Gooderich, step back, three is up. No good, but David Dovac for the offensive rebound. Ramovich, he'll pull up for a deep three. And that guy, but again, this time Cat's able to secure. They got numbers. Montero finds this one, a good transition there. It's Mendoza running the left wing. And their first fast break points of that quarter it had been 11 nothing until that point right there. Dominican Republic don't want to commit any fouls here. It's going to be foul on Pena pretty soon. He's not careful. Don't want to send Serbia to the free throw line. Gooderich going around the screen. Switch on defense. Gooderich, that's going to be a 24 second violation. So. Serbia now taking advantage a couple of times for drawing some contact against the Dominican Republic. But in the end, they succumb to the 24 second shot clock. Yeah, I'm really surprised they haven't continued to go back to Milutinov. If the Dominican Republic's going to keep Pena on him, they have a huge advantage there in the low post. Two seconds difference between game and shot clock here for the Dominicans. I want to slow this down, but Solano. Go with a push off, but a strong move there. 4 1 for the Dominicans. Pesic will call one last timeout as the 18 point lead has been cut down to 14. And a positive play here from the Dominican Republic coach. Yeah, great take by Solano. And he's been so good for them in this World Cup coming into the game, adding a little spark there with his penetration and defense. <laughs> Okay. 
Dajte koč! Dajte ga na koč! Ajde! Završit će trutinu! Ajde, ko je najbolji? Ajde! Fal! Fal! Odaramo fal! Well, Andreas Vili is getting a tentative right here, coach. I mean, it's just careless, isn't it? Well, you know, there's obviously some frustration there. You see all the Serbian players immediately asking for the technical foul. The thing is, it's like it's one of those, it's like you can clearly see the frustrations you mentioned, but you just can't afford to show that at this point. Well, a few seconds now, Dobrich, finding Guterich. An eight-second violation. Good defense from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, really nice pressure there from the Dominican Republic, giving them an opportunity here to finish the quarter with a basket. You saw Coach Pesic use that timeout primarily for the press break. A real breakdown there for Serbia. But you, you see a little bit of deja vu here. Last game, you build a lead. You take out Malutinov. Same thing here. You take out Bogdanovic, and all of a sudden, something breaks down for the Serbians. You got to get the ball inbound. Back to a final on Serba. Good defense by David Dovats. We'll get the shot off in time, but that's not going to count. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Serbia lead this one 29 to 15. And there you can see Chagathia infuriated with his players. But so far, business as usual for Serbia and Coach Pesic. Well, here are some of the key plays of the first quarter. Malutinov, the connection with Bogdanovic and Jovic in this case. I mean, Malutinov, he is a big handful. Yeah, well, you know, Jovic with the beautiful pass there, and Milutinov knows what to do with it. The transition play coming from Bogdan Bogdanovic. Boggy again punishing Dominican Republic's transition defense. Yeah, and the Dominican Republic struggling to get back there, not having floor balance on their shots, giving up 11 fast break points in that first quarter. Well, that was a deep three-pointer by Carl Anthony Towns, but look at the alley-oop time. Finding Nikola Milutinov, the big beast from the East. You see the breakdown there versus the Spanish pick and roll. Nobody picking up Milutinov on that roll. Well, the Serbian bench, this team, of course, coming under a lot of criticism after that defeat against Italy, but now a chance to turn this around. Well, please, ladies and gentlemen, use that QR code to get courtside 1891 to get the best streams, schedules, and scores that matter to you most. Use that app, QR code to download the app today. Remember, courtside 1891, bringing you the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Well, Dominicans will get the first possession of the second quarter. There you can see the player track of the advanced stats we've had so far. Just look at the amount of traveling around the court that both Boggy and Cat have been doing. Yeah, it's been a, a storm of offense from those guys. They need Cat to step up even further here and chip away at this lead. Well, Terra finding Cat here on the pick and pop. Can go for another three point. This one's a little bit too short. The Pena finding the offensive boards and he draws a foul against Gooderich. With this smaller lineup, I would like to see Cat down low a lot more. He gets a physical advantage against Petrusev. Allow Pena to spread the floor for him. See if they can get something out of some spread pick and roll. Have him slip out of there. Try to do some damage around the rim. Well, Serbia without Bogdanovic. Solano trying to break down. Mendoza had the three. Solano trying to find separation. Take a tough mid range and again just can't get it. Well, looking for the back door, finding Gooderich. But Trusha down the lane with good defense. We've got a kick ball violation. That's going to be Dominican Republic's ball. Yeah, nice hustle there from Montero to stick his hand there, force the kick. Well, that is perfectly timed. Well, Better contact there as well, coach. Yeah, there's a big wind up there. 
Got a lot of ball as well. Good rotation help there from the veteran Pena. Well, Malutinov looking on from the bench. Cat looking to attack now. Trying to use that size, gets fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. Well, you mentioned it, Coach. Cat only goes right. Yeah, if uh, you're Petrusif there, you got to make him use that left hand. Trust the help defense that's behind you. Uh, but again, I, I really would like to see Cat more in the low blocks right now. You've got Pena on the floor. He can spread the court for you. See if you can take advantage of that physicality against Petrusif. Well, Colin Anthony Towns, you mentioned a big man that likes to spread the floor, can't shoot the three, but, you know, it's a good point. You've identified there with the lack of Malutinov here on the court. You know, you want to find that mismatch. Coming it down now to a 12-point ball game. to the backcourt now. Going to dribble handoff with David Dovetz. Goodrich using that ball screen. Goodrich going right over. Call out the Towns again. That is B E A beautiful there by Goodrich. Yeah, amazing finish. Once again, Serbia having their way with that motion Spanish pick and roll. Well, Call out the Towns not sure the confidence as he hits a Hellberry three-pointer. And now with 12 points here for the Dominicans. Dovich has got options. Makes a sublime dive in the lane against Serbia. Making the pick and roll look like a renaissance here at the FIBA Basel World Cup. And the Dominican Republic is stuck with that drop coverage there. Might need to think about changing up their pick and roll defense. It's disappointing for the Dominican Republic. Nobody crashing the boards. Nobody's just going to work there. Going to get the M1. And he'll go to the charity stripe here for the three-point play. Yeah, great take from Jovic. You can see using that size advantage against Montero, finishing through the contact. And, you know, these are his first points of the game, but he has done such a good job orchestrating this offense so far. Six assists and four rebounds, knowing when to push tempo, knowing when to execute in the half court. Jovic will be heading next summer, or well, next season, excuse me, to the ACB and the Basel Champions League to play for Catanem on Zaragoza. Oh, yo, that's going to be an offensive foul. Solano just losing his control there. And again, just another careless blunder. It looks like Quinones is going to come back in the game here for Solano. Yeah, you see the pressure there from Kudulic. Bothering Solano. Able to draw the offensive foul there. And really nothing going the Dominican public way right now. Now they're going to go to that double big lineup. We haven't seen this yet with Cat paired with Vargas. Just trying to find something to get a little momentum here in this game. Dominican <laughs> Republic trying to be aggressive here. Goodrich, bit of time and space. Contact. He'll go to the free throw line and Serbia just picking the Dominican Republic's defense apart. Yeah, they really are. You see the player movement on display right now. All their wings so good at coming off the screens. Right here, Gaduric able to attack downhill, draw the contact there in Vargas. I think, you know, obviously two different teams in the 2019 FIBA Vasa World Cup to now, but you know, this Serbia team, it was almost like the defeat against Italy re ha really has restructured their focus in this game. They seem a lot sharper, a lot more aggressive, but also very clinical as well. Well, you know, you have to remember, too, that it seemed like Serbia was about to run away with that game versus Italy, up by 16 points in that third quarter. So the Dominican Republic certainly not out of this game right now, but they have to find something to get a little momentum going here. To an 18 point ball game. And this one, I believe, in the seal off. Kicks on the corner, Quinones. 
into the teardrop, too much on it. On the offensive board, not get it, but the tip in no good. Right now, the Dominicans searching for answers, but nothing being fouled so far. Wilbish now pulls up for three, right off the ball screen. Can't get it, Cap with a rebound. Can the Dominicans get something quick, but again, the transition defense easily recoverable here from Serbia. And now finding Elo Vargas, but turns it over. Vargas wasn't ready for the ball. And nice job there by Guduric. <laughs> getting into Carl Anthony Towns, making it, put it on the deck to his weaker left hand. You see there forcing the turnover. Well, three Serbian players around Cat. Well, Vargas has got to be ready for that one. That's an easy two points for him. Oh, there's a crowd in there. You know, it's sometimes difficult for these bigs to come up with those passes with so many hands around them. Kiyota's okay, defending Jovic. Jovic around the screen, no help side defense. And again, well, it's just the same outcome over and over again here for the Serbians. Yeah, they've had a field day with that Spanish pick and roll set. The guard setting the back pick on the big. No answer for it so far. All three in the corner by Mendova. That cuts it back down to 17 points. Running around the screen, Jovic, I mean, uh, coach, are you kidding me? Well, somebody go look at the lost and found because of the Dominican help side defense. It's nowhere to be found right now. Well, it's the pick and roll coverage that's the issue. So they've been using that Spanish pick and roll. See here, uh, almost another forced turnover. Dominican Republic really struggling with their coverages there. So that guard is setting these back picks on the big. Typically, you would switch with the two guards involved. Right now, just no communication with the Dominican Republic defense. Police finding a bit of an opening here. And those have made his last three. Can't get this one. Great job by the Serbians, keeping Carl Anthony Towns and Eloy Vargas off the second chance points. 19 point ball game. Jovic getting in and around the basket again, and another foul's gonna be called. So two free throws yet again coming up for the Serbians. Yeah, I'm just shocked at the Dominican Republic's inability to defend this action. Serbia keeps going to it again and again. You see here is Jovic able to draw the contact, but no solution so far for the Dominican Republic here defensively. Again, you know, you talk about his role with this team. He was with them in 2019 as well. You know, when you were coaching against him in Foshen, he doesn't get enough credit for his role with this national team. Well, he's been brilliant so far in this first half, really orchestrating this offense to perfection. Luis gets his pocket pick, and now this is becoming a disaster here for the Dominicans. 21 point lead for the Serbians. Going to the same set again here, Serbia. Jovic now pulls up three, can't get it. Towns with a rebound. Well, Vargas trying to get a post up here against Petrushev, but almost catching it by the three point line. 10 here on the shot clock. Police pulls up on the Helmary three pointer. It's a big time shot by Andreas Feliz. Well, he has shot the lights out here at the World Cup, then they're gonna need some of those deep threes from him to climb their way back into this game. Serbia running off full screens. Boggy throws up another alley-oop. Kyle another foul, it's gonna be against Eloy Vargas. You can see the reaction from the Dominican players and coaches. I mean, again, the pick and roll struggles for the Dominican Republic. They've been staying with their bigs in a drop. You see here Petrusev getting behind Vargas there on the roll. Wondering if the Dominican Republic will change this up, maybe go to something a little more aggressive on the ball, perhaps even throw a little zone look. But certainly uh, the drop coverage not working so far in this first half. 
Well, Petrushev in his first game here for the Serbians went down hard with an ankle injury. We didn't see him for the next two games, but yeah, it's good to slowly see him coming back into the lineup because they're going to need him if, and I mean if, they win this game and make it to the quarterfinals. Well, and you know, Ristic came in in his absence and played well. So it just shows the depth that this, this Serbian team has. Back getting bumped, draws another foul. That's going to be the 13th foul against Serbia. 4.23 to go. You can see definitely contact there from Dobrodovic. Montero hesitated, pump fakes, puts in the teardrop. He'll go to the free throw line. This is better for the Dominicans. Trying to break down the Serbian defense with a few penetrations in the key, but you know, he didn't get the pump fake that he wanted, but still, look at the height comparison. It's a good job by Montero, one of the top scorers of the Spanish ACB, to still get that over the defense. Well, the young 20-year-old, bit of a spark plug for this Dominican Republic team, and they need something right now. Really nothing going their way. Well, their objective in the next four minutes and 16 seconds, try to get it close to 10 points as much as possible. Don't want to be like Puerto Rico where they were down by 30, can only make a comeback to 10-point deficit. By then it was too late for the Puerto Ricans when they played Serbia. Down to Dovets. Trying to find Bogdanovic. Trying to have one curl screen. Now using a full screen. He bumping. Boggy turns it over now. Can the Dominicans get something quick here? Pulls up, doesn't get it, but Montero follows up. That's not a bounds violation because Montero didn't enter the play in time. Well, great job there by Serbia to get back in transition. You see Dobradovic sprinting back to get involved there. The DR unable to convert on that fast break. Go pick a pop now. David Dovac, he'll try three of the games. Rolls his way in and out. Bogdanovich with the follow up. Oh, Dominican Republic. Did a cool box out on that one. Walks out buggy. That should be the game plan. You see them sticking with that drop coverage. I just don't think that's going to work against this Serbia team. Kinoni's had the foul. The foul is going to be on the ground. It's going to be two free throws coming up for Montero. We saw South Sudan go to some switching in the second half of that game. And what the switching does is forces Serbia to a little more dribbling and isolation than they like. Right now, just feeling too comfortable in their offense. need to be imperative for both these two teams. Of course, Dominican Republic now five for five from the charity stripe. Now that they're both in the penalty, something they can try to use their advantage to try and put points on the board before the halftime. 3.18 to go. Currently trailing now by 17 points. Vranovic being defended by Montero. Trying to fight around the screen. Down to Lutinov. The Dominican Republic has struggled. Again, there you go, mismatch. Yeah, that's going to be a tough cover one on one there. Surprised at the matchup. Delgado giving up a fair amount of size. We saw it too with Pena. They've been keeping Towns on the perimeter fours of Serbia, have yet to put him on any of the fives. Lutinov was going to be a big talking point coming into this game. Of course, everybody talking about the great Carl Anthony Towns, three-time NBA All-Star, but, you know, welcome to the international game. Here is the big man who's one of the best in the business. Uh, no question. I mean, amazing season in the EuroLeague, former NBA first-round draft pick, and you can see why. He's been so solid for Serbia, averaging a double-double here at the World Cup. Got it by David Dovats. 
Trying to throw a jump down and and you didn't see it coming. Well, Delgado, excuse me. I think they will review this. And almost certain that did come off a Serbia play, though. Well, you see Coach Garcia with the coach's challenge here. We have a coach challenge for out of bounds. We will review to see who touched last the ball. We have white, 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 white. We have another angle to see this the one, end. This one, this one on yeah. the second. That one. This one, yes. Okay. So still it's white. Go back. White, blue, 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 white, white, white. white, white. So white. out of bounds for blue ball. The blue decision ball. is confirmed. Yes. Okay. First decision, blue ball. Yep. Baseline. After review, the out of bounds will be blue ball. So it did come off Delgado, an unsuccessful coach's challenge. My God, Theo. Nine seed point lead to Serbia. 2.43 to go here in the first half. Mahamovic looking to go all the way. How many open layups are Serbia going to have in this game, coach? Well, uh, credit to Milo Tunov there, sealing off Delgado, giving the free lane to the basket for Avramovic. Sarah coming off the ball screen. She down the corner, find a Victor Lees. Montero's well, got to make this three. Three is up. Three is good. That's what the Dominican Republic needs. A well, big time triple A coming from Montero. Not a team can commit any more fouls here. Bogdanovich going baseline. Bogdanovich getting rejected, but they've pulled another foul here. Well, again, I don't think it's a question of it being a foul. I think what's frustrating the crowd and the coaches stuff, the delay of the core cool coach. Well, we'll have to see the replay here. I think, you know, Towns feeling he got all ball there. Oh, I'll let you analyze that one. Well, it looked like he probably did. And that's where if you're Coach Garcia, you want to usually hold on to those challenges. Make sure that you're using them in key moments. Well, currently the free throw line here for Serbia. Boggy Bogdanovic of the Atlanta Hawks. They get a two for two for the charity strike. 20 point ball game. As Pena now has to come in for Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, picking up his second foul there. Just wonder in the second half, do they change the defensive strategy and try to put Cat on the Lutsenov in the low block? Because clearly that's been a mismatch. And there's another foul, so Montero will go to the free throw line here for, or maybe it'll be Pena actually. See uh, Cat there venting his frustrations to Lester Quinos and. I think if you're the DR, there's a number of adjustments you're going to need to make. Obviously, you have to figure out your pick and roll defense. They've stayed in that drop this entire half. Serbia very comfortable. And then, as you mentioned, are they going to continue to keep the smaller defenders on Milutunov having Carl Anthony Towns match up on the perimeter or perhaps switch that up where now Towns can use his size to try to control Milutunov? Montero makes the first free throw. Andreas Feliz, one of the top contributors for this Dominican Republic team, having a, he has hit one three-pointer, but it's been a tough game so far for him. Jovic <laughs> going off the screen, trying to run around another one here with Jovic. Republic, no size in the defense. Malutinov. Trying to be strong here, but again, too big, too strong, and simply just too unstoppable for Nikola Malutinov. Yeah, that's just going to be a tough matchup. The DR has chosen to go with the smaller defenders and not sending any help. Montero now, finding Delgado. 
something in their offense. And you're getting pocket picked. Can't find one. Get a tough pass to Montero. Sylvia Batanji could go two for one. Patient build up from Avramovich, taking on the point guard duties. Here comes that Serbia big roll, but he fakes the ball screen. He goes in with the Euro step, and he misses, but another foul has been committed. And it's coach. It's probably contact. Maybe there's not, but it's the delay of the cool that's, you know, frustrated the Dominican Republic right now. Well, once again, though, we're seeing their struggles with pick and roll defense. Abramovich able to get downhill. Not sure if there was contact there or not, but the issue starts at the point of the screen. You see Pena there lost. Should have been maybe an easy switch there with the point guard and the four-man. Cat coming into this game now, seeing if they can get some kind of momentum here to finish off the half. Ivanovich missing the first free throw. Yeah, he made both of these ones, and they get a stop down the other end. The two for one could have still been off for the Serbians. We can still put them up by 21 here with 39 seconds left in the first half. Montero going pick and roll here with Delgado. Step back, deep three, puts this one up. Delgado just trying to get the offensive board. Serbia come up with a 21 point lead for the Serbians. And you can see Eshi's calling for the double high screen, the Horns offense. Jovic now, three, pulls up. Well, Serbia's got a little bit cold, but now he's the lead with a bit of time. He'll put it up. Almost got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, it has been a Serbia dominance here as they lead this one 56 to 35 against the Dominican Republic. The final game we're playing at the Araneta Coliseum here at the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. The winner will book their tickets to the quarterfinal along with the Italians and coach. I mean, you said it, Serbia pick and roll at the moment. Dominican Republic, they don't have a defensive game plan. Yeah, well, you know, really Serbia's had their way with the Dominican Republic defense in the half court. It's been the struggles defending their pick and roll sets, but also in transition, 16 to two on fast break points and 13 to two off a of turnover. So really everything going Serbia's way here in that first half. There are the stats, Serbia leading all stats categorically with rebounds, assists, and steals. But, you know, fast break points is the big thing. You mentioned three players there. You can see already a double digits for the Serbians. Bogdanovic, Marinkovic, and Nikola Milutinov, who in my mind is probably Serbia's most unguardable player on the court. Well, between those three players, only one missed shot in that first half. So, you know, we know that Serbia is a well-oiled offensive machine, but we're seeing everything on display so far in this first half. Well, if you look at the key player stats in this game, and you know, no doubt it's going to be Carl Anthony Towns probably up against Bogdan Bogdanovich, and that's the exact case. There's six rebounds for Cat away from getting a double double, but you know, Boggy came out like a house on fire, and he's got so many options on his team. The question will be if they, if they win this game, how far could this Serbian team go all the way to the final or not? Well, what I love about Bogdanovich's first half is he has not forced the issue at all. He thought maybe with the shooting struggles against Italy, he'd come out here, try to press a little bit, but he's really allowed his game to come to him. Here's been the pass, and that was a block shot by Pena. Pena just getting this at the right time. Probably could have got called for a foul there. It was a bit of contact, but Linda Goodrich here going right over Carl Anthony Towns. It's like a dream hook there. Yeah, well, the strong left hand finish from Goodrich, but again, the drop coverage of the Dominican Republic. Really getting picked apart by Serbia's offense. Carl Anthony Towns going for the deep three with the sublime time coming off the Serbian pick and roll. Petrushev being located by Stefan Jovic. Again, you know, it's that pick and roll. You know, reiterate to the fans again, what can the Dominican Republic do to change the defense with this pick and roll? Well, you see here these last two sets, that's the Spanish pick and roll where the guard is setting that back pick on the big. Typically, teams would switch that with the two defensive guards involved. In this case, the Dominican Republic's been trying to go under on that first screen. If that guard gets caught, they're having problems. 
Well, there was the offensive rebound by Bogdanovich. Yeah, nice play there. You know, just how many open layups. A seal off coming from, we call that the Gortac screen, did you say, or is that a different scenario? <laughs> That's a little different. The Gortac comes when the big rolls and pick and roll, but again, a beautiful screen from Milo Tunov. And you see there, just too big for Delgado there on the low post. If the Dominican Republic's gonna go with those smaller defenders, they have to at least dig down on the post or per perhaps double team. We'll be back in just over 11 minutes of the second half. See you soon. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, are we are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Jones down the middle, throws up, and again, the king of South Sudan just went up Juba Airlines and connected with the alley-oop. When young Gabriel, return by 12 points. She's now trying to hang in the air, and somehow, someway, Shilde turned down, just went coast to coast. That is incredible, coach. Yeah, beautiful finish here. Dundao giving up so much size. Kobo is open in the corner. He takes his time, and for good reason, as you see Zach shot go in at the buzzer. Holding on, he'll give it to his buddy. What a nap. Hey, remember the name. He's going to go to the line to shoot one. He didn't even realize he got hit on the dunk. Blocks it out, moving a three-pointer. Up in the mid-range, puts it up and just gets it to drop right at the end of the first half. And you can just hear this crowd slowly get back into this game. But what a rejection by AJ Edu. was coming at him. Have a look at it. So he assesses the situation. He sees two of them coming at him. And the no looker in transition. The pass deflected. It goes to Marai. Oh, he gets rejected. Tony Smith Milner. Where did that come from? It's Mexico. Oh, oh, so rare. That he misses that badly. There's, oh my! Ronde Hollis Jefferson just flies through the air, and even his wife raises her eyebrows.
Well, welcome back, Basel fans. Second half about to get underway here in the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. We're live in the Araneta Coliseum in beautiful Manila. And at the moment, the Dominican Republic have two quarters to save their FIBA Basel World Cup after such an emphatic start of sweeping their group. Well, hi, everybody. I am your commentator, Josh Bett, alongside head coach of the Austin Spurs, Coach Will Boyd. Coach, it's now or never for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, really nothing going their way in that first half. Serbia dominating in every facet of the game, really picking them apart in the half court with their pick and roll sets, hitting out in transition, and beating them on the offensive rebounds. Well, Dominican Republic have been frustrated from this evening. A couple of calls haven't gone their way, but you know, mentally they have to find other ways to get other players in this game. And Carl Anthony Towns leading the way so far, 12 points, you know, four rebounds, but you know, he needs a bit of help right now. Well, I mean, so much of it starts on the defensive end for them. They have to find a way to get some stops. So once they can do that, now they can get in transition, maybe find some easy baskets that way. Uh, but right now, just a struggle for the Dominican Republic. Now let's allude on the Serbian version of the Spanish pick and roll. You know, the back pick for the screener, which is done by another off guard. At the moment, Serbia just having a field day. They're getting easy buckets and getting wide open layups. What does the Dominican Republic need to do in this scenario? Well, you saw Serbia go to it in two different ways, one with a motion set and the other just kind of going right into it with the guard there. The Dominican Republic's been trying to go underneath the first screen with their guards. Problem is, if he gets caught by that screen, now the big is being screened off and their guards are getting downhill. Typically, you would switch it with the two guards involved. We haven't seen that from them. There are a lot of different ways you could try. You could try to triple switch or even trap, but certainly to continue to stay in that drop, have that print, uh, the first guard trying to go under is not working for the Dominican Republic. Well, Serbians at the moment cruising in this game, transition points, getting up and down the floor, but their defense has made it very difficult here for the Dominican Republic. But something we've alluded to, you really highlighted this, you know, Nikola Malutinov, Unless Carl Anthony Towns or Eli Vargas matches up with him, you're always going to find a mismatch if it's Delgado or if it's Benio. Well, there's so many holes right now in this DR defense, so the post mismatches have been a problem as well. They've gone with Pena and Delgado one-on-one -on -one with no help in the post. That's been a problem from them. And then the transition defense, 16-2 to 2 on fast break points. So in almost every area defensively, the DR has struggled in that first half. Well, use that QR code to download the official FIBA Basel World Cup app on your smartphone, tablet, or Android to get the best news, stats, and highlights that manage you the most. That QR code was for the official FIBA Basel World Cup app. Download it today. Well, good response from Boggy after his disappointing game against the Italians where he shot one for 13 from the perimeter. But this Serbian team looks like now they believe in each other. Well, he's been so good in that first half, really allowing the offense to come to him. Didn't press at all, going five for five for 14 points. And, you know, when they're in their flow offensively sharing the ball, they're just so difficult to guard. So we get in the first possession here in the second half. Traveling violation against Marinkovic. Not quite the start the Soviets wanted. Well, a little bit of life here from the DR. They're going with Figueroa with the start. He comes out with some pressure and forces the turnover. Well, can they find ways to get each other involved in this game? They've got 20 minutes to try and make the quarterfinals. Pump fakes. Contact, no fat wolf. Now they yeah, Coach, the thing I have is, look, we've got three of the very best referees right now, but it's the delay in the calls that are being made in the moments. Well, also that it came from the baseline official. There's two other officials with better angles on this. Well, Johan Rosso, one of the best referees you're going to find in international basketball, a regular in the French Pro Island B. Now they're going to decide, I don't know, if this was a shooting foul or if his foot was on the line. Yeah, two shots, so not a three-point shot. Guys are not looking at that just to make sure 
But I like this lineup from the Dominican Republic, putting Pena on the perimeter, trying to spread things out, allowing Cat to be the five. Just play spread, pick, and roll. See if you can get him going that way. And it forces Milutinov now to match up with him. Well, Cat doing a good job of getting to the charity stripe here. The Dominican Republic so far, eight for eight for the charity stripe. Something that could be a blessing in disguise so far, but the Serbian fans trying to put Cat off. Nineteen point separation. Figueroa trying to match up with Bogdan Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic here on the ball in the backcourt. Well, here comes the ball screen. Switch on defense. Malutin off being guarded by Mendoza. Big man falls over, but it's going to be a foul here against. Mendoza, so first team foul in the second half for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, but I like it. You know, it's been an adjustment. You saw Delgado, get, uh, sorry, Pena on an aggressive hedge in the first screen. On that on that second screen, they end up switching it. They had to show some kind of a different look. Mendoza almost able to get the steal there. Well, nice give as well. Jovic is wide open, goes to the other Jovic. We can't come back to haunt them. Can't find a Montero. And Dominican Republic gets something here. Not by Bogdanovic. This was a tough one. They can fling away again. Nobody falling in for an offensive rebound. Well, finds by Lutinov and Lakunach. Good night to the Dominican Republic. And Milutinov just beating Kron Anthony Towns down the floor there. Well, big man just went down the middle. Found himself wide open. Figueroa being heavily defended. Goes out of bounds. Another turnover. Well, again, Jovic becoming a Serbian Spider-Man here at the moment defensively. Making things very difficult here for the Dominican Republic. Cher Garcia trying to find ways to get his team to stay in this game emotionally. Jovic being guided by Montero. Those two will match up next year in the ACB. Trying to put another bill screen here with. And that's going to be a traveling violation. Just reaching in. And that was a very risky play there by Carl Anthony Towns. Well, you know, the other good thing about this lineup, it allows Carl Anthony Towns now to play the five defensively. So that's neutralized Milutunov's post ups. But also, when he's in a drop, it's a different presence. He's a big body. The guards will be more hesitant there. Towns being heavily defended. Tries to dish off the Figueroa. Yeah, maybe getting away with travel. Montero wide open, had the three. Goes to the pull up. This one's going to be off. Finding Malutinov again, kicking out to Marinkovic. He's made two Troikas, makes it three. Troika time. And we've been waiting for Serbi to cook it up again. That is unbelievable offense. The outlet pass from Jovic and the wherewithal of Milutinov to kick it out from the catch. Beautiful basketball there. A Figueroa trying to respond with a three-pointer. Nothing dropping here for the Dominicans. Now Jovic going behind the back, gets fouled. Well, he made the same move, move, excuse me, in the opening game against China. Jeremy went kind of wrapped around the defense. This time he gets fouled in the process. And the paint wide open there in transition. Got to get more bodies back into that area if you're the Dominican Republic. And he is a special player, currently in his veteran years for this team. It doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. Well, then you see the big man, Malutinov. Oh, I think he doesn't get enough credit for us. He actually runs the floor like a gazelle. Well, he just plays so hard for his team, able to punish you a lot of different ways. We saw that beautiful kick out in the play before there. And he had the three, didn't go for it. 
Serbia closing out on the shooters, but Kat tries another one, and Kyle Anthony Towns drilling it on the tray ball. He now goes up to 17 points here for the Dominican Republic. That's a one-point deficit. He's on the bat. Baseline pass, finds Jovic. He's on top of the key. Can't get it, Penny with a rebound. Dominican Republic, Cat going from Hell Mary, no man's land. And it's, you can't hold the confidence, but somebody's got to run in there for a second chance. Uh, those are early deep threes, probably not what you want there. I try to put some pressure on the rim first. Wow, interesting here with the official closest to that play was about to call the flop. You yeah. can see the Serbian that, yeah. bench saying that, pointing there. And then, uh, you know, it was Johan Rosso who had the, you know, farthest angle with the foul. No discussion at all between the officials. Dominican Republic getting another chance here. Let's throw across the over, finds Cat. That kicks out Pena, he's wide open for three. Can't get it, big rebound by Figueroa. Pulling the C here of Serbian plays. Montero tries to three it again. That's a big time shot. That's back to back triples coming from Dominican Republic. The first one coming from Cat. And you can see uh, DR going to a zone now. Trying to slow this offense down. There's another Elliu time, and again, Malutinov. Well, says to the 2 3 zone defense, Dovic, Genia, goodbye. Yeah, great high low action there from Jovic, Nikola Jovic this time with the beautiful lob pass. Montero gets another one. 3 3 0 in the third quarter for the Dominican Republic. And again, they just need to believe in themselves. And Marinkovic going under on that screen, looked over at the bench. I'm thinking the scouting report was initially to go under. Well, again, it's just a Troika fest. Rinkovic now, four three pointers so far in this game. Cat crosses over, Figueroa in the corner, pump fakes. A good defense by Jovic. Jovic made a contact, well, Jovic is going to get caught for an offensive foul, surely. No, and one. Well, coach, it did look like there was a push off there, but I'd say Jovic, a very lucky play, maybe. But let's look at the replay. Take a look at this. Wow. Well, I, you know, to me, that's a no call. If anything, maybe an offensive foul. Well, there's the alley oop finding Malutinov, the big man. Jovic makes a three point play. Ramovich coming in for Stefan Jovic. And more brilliant play there from Jovic. You see the beautiful. High low, this time from Nikola Jovic. Finding that mid post area against the zone and the DR still just trying to find anything to slow down this Serbian offense. And those are trying to take on Nikola Jovic. He yeah, just easily gets himself right to the rack. And a technical foul is going to be called against Coach Besic. So Dominican Republic will get a free throw here. Peshic was mad at, but... Yeah, I'm not sure there. Perhaps thought there was a little bit of a push-off with Mendoza. Hard to know what set him off there. Well, big, big time here. Three-point turnaround. Goes in, no problem for Bogdanovich. And you see Serbia go right back to that Spanish pick and roll again. The Dominican Republic just no answer for it defensively. Montero well, trying the ball screen. Throws a foul against Avramovich. Strong play there by the Atlanta Hawks superstar. Well, now he just hangs in the air, just is able to release just at the pinnacle. 
Yeah, I mean, that's a nice finish there. But again, the Dominican Republic staying with that drop coverage against the pick and roll. Oh, Cat just playing bully basketball to Cat. Coach, you might need to call the principal and report we have a bully on the court, and he needs to keep bullying if they're going to come back in this game. Yeah, beautiful take there from Cat right on the catch going downhill. That's Bogdanovich, but loops it off one more time, and we got two bullies. Well, one bully counter in the next. A beautiful drop-off pass from Bogdanovich. Got open from the back pick. Had the wherewithal to drop it off to Milutinov. No foul called there. Can't give it up to Figueroa. Bogdanovich just handing it right to Carl Anthony Towns. Not trying to go it again. Bogdanovich just taking it away from him. Well, we've got numbers now. Bounce pass. And again, showtime. Oh, Serbia basketball. Shea Garcia. I think he's, well, I don't know right now what he's thinking, but he's got to be wondering. Time is winding down, 327 to go in the third quarter. His team trailing quite immensely by 24 points. And you see Serbia converting off the turnovers there. 15 turner, turnovers for the Dominican Republic, leading to 18 points, but also 26 to four in fast break points. Transition defense, such an issue for the DR right now. Well, big moment now here for the Dominican Republic. They got to try to turn things around, of course, but let's listen now to what Coach Che Garcia has to say. Here are some of the key replays. Malutinov ripping the ring down, showing no mercy to the help side defense. Yeah, beautiful high-low pass there from Jovic. Able to puncture that zone, and here the drop-off. Bogdanovich on the beautiful cut, but knew the defense had rotated over. See the wraparound pass there to Milutinov. 16 points. He is on a mission right now to just eviscerate anything or anybody that comes in his way. Well, you saw it in the first half with the post mismatches. Now in the second half, it's really been created by the guards, either through pick and roll or through drop-offs. But Milutinov, a handful for anybody to try to contain. And so he's coming back in the game for the Dominican Republic. Trying to go for the penetration again. Nothing dropping here for the Dominicans. Thomas left wide open. Why not pull up? Take this one. Can't get it. Kid Yone is securing the rebound. Yone is pumping. Pick up a teardrop. That one to settle. That's much needed two points for the Dominicans. Yeah, they need him to get going. Try to chip away at this lead. See them trying to up the tempo a little bit. They're going to have to definitely pick up the pace here. On the lane now, Boggy pulls up for three, had his face. Toy got time by Bogdanovich. He had a hat in his face and again wasn't faced by it. Yeah, a really tough shot there. I think they're going to get Feliz here on an offensive foul. It's just been a tough game here for the Dominican Republic. Too many mental mistakes really costing them. Fashion's infuriated with that one though. Will they review this coach? That's the question. Well, it looked like the arm extended up into the face there of Dobrich. Definitely something worth a look here from the officials. They're definitely going to review this one now. This is just becoming a calamity right now here. Well, what do you think? I think that's going to be upgraded to unsportsmanlike. See the arm really extended up. Again. Stop. Do we have another angle that we can yeah. see? No, this one is this not one. good. This one, this one, this one, this one, guys. This one. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
Yes, I'm from Marejo. This is just in contact. This yeah, is yeah, not yeah. a basketball action. This is just uh, contact on the face with the... The forearm is yeah. horizontal. Yeah. It's, it's uh, side to side. Yeah. It's enforcement like... So we have already technical foul number 10 white, He's and now it's from Marejo. Yes. He must be out. Yes. After review, the contact is upgraded to enforcement like for number 10 white. Well, this is going to be a problem now for Andreas Feliz, his coach. Technical foul, plus on Sportsman, like, could that be the, the terrible combo you don't want to get? Yep, he's out of here. Yeah, really uh, frustrating game there for Feliz, and I think if he could go back, it'd be that technical that he would really want to take back. Going to be hard here now for the Dominican Republic. Try to battle back here without their point guard. Well, Serbia potentially could go for a four or five point play depending how this one goes for them. Well, so far here for the charity strike this evening, Serbia actually missed five free throws, interestingly enough. It doesn't really make too much of a difference as they can now lead by 26 points. This is the biggest the lead has ever been in the game. And if you're uh, the Dominican Republic, you just have to figure something out here. Try to get a little bit of momentum. Oh, he's on the low lobby to Petrusha. That's got to be a traveling violation, surely. In the lane, David Dovac's three corner. Troika, one more time. Yeah, that's got to be frustrating. Certainly should have been a travel there. Instead, able to kick it out, find Dobrodovich in the corner. Well, Vargas turning it over. Nothing clicking here for the Dominican Republic. Another foul committed, so two free throws coming up for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And you see how quickly Serbia gets on top of you in transition. Got to be disciplined with the ball. Make sure that you have people back. too much to concern about but you know the free throw struggles we've seen at times here from the Serbians I mean it's the only thing about when you get to the knockout stage when you play the teams like the Lithuanians the United States you know potentially the Germans for example I mean they're playing so well so far you got to make sure that at crucial times every part of your game is clicking if you want to bring home the Naismith trophy yeah well the uh, margins get smaller as you get into those knockout rounds obviously every game is going to be against a very good team Defense by Ramovic. There's no problem bringing it down. Leaves in the corner. Yeah, nobody wanted to go in the paint. Now, Ramovic just said, not in my house. This guy, well, we need to find a translation for a Serbian glove because he is just all over his players when he's defending. Well, the intensity level right now, up 30 points, but you wouldn't know it. You've got Abramovic there, extended full court by himself. Going in a few seconds now. Step back. This is the mid race. This one's not going to count. Davidovac slowing down the tempo here. Serbian fans getting into this one. Ramovic finds Davidovac. Made his last three. Can't get this one. Dominican Republic can do the impossible. It's got to start in this last minute of the third quarter. Montero puts up a prayer, just can't get it. But now you start to think that the Dominican defense currently losing this quarter 27 to 18 against the Serbians. And it's been a tough quarter for them so far. Ramage in the lane, finds Petrushev, goes up, and it's just, just textbook. Pick and roll basketball here from Serbia. Yeah, you've seen that all game long. If the bigs are going to be in drop, they need to get further back. They've allowed those big men for Serbia to roll behind them. We've seen countless drop-off passes from their point guards. 
Got to make their point guards pull up from the mid-range if that's going to be your coverage. Traveling violation called against Carl Anthony Towns. No reaction from the Dominican players off of Che Garcia. Well, he's been called for a few of those here at the FIBA Vassal Walk Cup. And that back foot there sliding a little bit. Referee run on top of it. Ramish now down the middle. Pulls all the way. Vargas unable to fight for the offensive board. Coming up with a loose ball. And the ball will just be taken right again. And the foul is going to be committed against. That's against Carl Anthony Downs. Frustration foul. I think the officials may have just done him a favor there, not giving him a non sports fight because it was in transition. No, absolutely. You saw right away Abramovich asking for the unsportsmanlike. Great job there from Dobert sprinting back. Oh. Yeah, and I think it's a lucky break there. I'm surprised the officials aren't looking that. Towns clearly just grabbing him to try to stop the fast break there. Well, the first free throw has been made by Abramovich. Makes it two for two for the charity strike. 30. Four point lead to Serbia. Final seconds of the third quarter. He's getting bumped. No foul court. David Dovac diving on the floor. Serbia, three, takes it. Almost got it. And again, look at the disappointment there from Dobrich that he didn't get it off in time. But defensively, David Dovac, this has just been terrifying to watch how great Serbia have been defensively. Well, there is no let up in this Serbian team. Up 34, but you see them still pressuring, diving on the floor, trying to run out and transition. That's what makes this team so dangerous in this World Cup. Well, there is statistics, but let's listen now to Coach Pesic before we see the best plays. Top play has been a little bit about that man, Nikola Milutinov. I mean, just stepping in the lane, it makes it look so easy. But you know, the Dominican Republic defensively, they have been scrambling all night long against Serbia's offense. Well, you see Milutinov causing problems by beating his man down the floor. The Dominican defender staying matched up on the perimeter, so concerned with the shooting, leaves the paint wide open. There's Jovic down the lane, throwing the lob in. The connection with Nikola Malutsinov. Big man's a big man. It's just how easy the passes are made in the paint. I mean, look, it's easier said than done that we can criticize the Dominican Republic's defense, but right now the anxiety has just taken over them. They just can't seem to find any way to have some composure on defense to remain compact. Well, the one thing they haven't really gone to is the switching one through five. You know, we saw South Sudan go to that a little bit. I think that's the defense that probably gives the Serbian team the most issues. They want to keep the ball moving. When teams start to switch, sometimes they get bogged down a little bit, trying to isolate to find those mismatches. But if you're the DR, you're just searching for anything right now to try to put some points on the board. 20, oh, excuse me, 36 point lead, four, four point lead, excuse me. Mathematics is a little bit hasty because the score just gets bigger and bigger, but you know, dominant performance so far from Serbia. But 10 minutes to see this one off. Can the Dominican Republic do the impossible? Montero now backdoor finds Victor Lee's. Well, Quinones, excuse me. Yeah, just not dropping here for the DR. Yeah, Serbia went with a 2 3 zone there, tried to steal the timeout play. Nice job on the defensive change. Well, turn it over. Mendoza comes up. He's going to get the first two points. Coming it down a 32-point deficit. Well, and that's what they have to do. They got to find a way to force some turnovers, get out and run. Again, how easy Gooderich just dissected the defense down and getting inside the paints. Another turnover coming. That's just been the story of the game so far for the Dominican Republic. That's just an easy invitation to the body. Well, you see the body language right now for the DR. 
So much frustration, but you know, Serbia is not going to let up on you. They have to continue to play hard here, make sure this doesn't turn into something embarrassing. Mendoza coming up with a loose ball and just finishes that one for the Dominican Republic. That's it, 20th point inside the paint. 50, though, coming for the Serbians. That's too many points inside the key, coach. Yeah, they've had their way. You know, the Dominican defenders really concerned with the perimeter shooters. That's opened up the lane. Kudrish looking to throw down low. Good defense by Mendoza, but that will remain Diabo, no, excuse me, Serbia Bull with 4.6 left on the baseline. And we saw the switch there. Mendoza battling around, almost able to get the steal. The fouls will be committed. This one's all Mendoza, so. Well, he looks happy, Malutinov currently watching from the bench. Highly unlikely we're going to see him or Bogdanovich back in with the way this game is going. Gorish now crossing over. Trying to take Cat away from the basket. Petrusha pump fakes and again, just pump fakes again. And finishes easy off the backcourt. Dominican defenders flying all over the place. Well, you saw the Dominican Republic go back to that switching. That time, Petrusev just kind of chucked Lee's there. Lee's trying to draw the offensive foul, but no call. Well, good hands again. Well, they have numbers. Look out below. Haku Notch with the alley -oop. Well, again, that is what you've been waiting for from this Serbian national team. Abramovich. Well, good hands there by Guterich. Converting this and says, Havala Lepo Priya, tell you, Moyi, thank you very much. Well, that is your thriller in Manila from the Serbian national team. Yeah, you see all offense on display from Serbia. If you're the Dominican Republic right now, it's really just about playing for pride. But this Serbian team is not going to let up here, so you've got to make sure that you come out and respond. Don't want this game to get completely out of hand. Well, Che Garcia, I don't know, what, what would you say to your buddy? He's not with them right yet, so we can't hear what they're saying at the moment, but what would you be saying if this was you? Well, you know, at this point, it really comes down to pride. Obviously, the game itself out of reach, but you don't want to look up at the scoreboard and see a you know 40 or 50 point loss. Well, here are the highlights. Bogdanovich, at the moment, you know, he has been spectacular. Good response from him from the uh, disappointing game against the Italians. Uh, he's been tremendous here. 20 points on seven for seven shooting, five assists to go along with that. But where I've been most impressed is he didn't press his offense at all. Coming off the disappointing game against Italy, but he really let the game come to him. And I think overall the, the entire team flourished because of that. But this would be, I mean, there's no need to bring Boggy or Malusinov back in the game. You need to rest your best players for the war that's going to come ahead of them. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see uh, many of the starters. Maybe Jovic, who's on the court here a little bit, just because he had that early foul trouble. And those are for three points. Good response, and that cuts it back down to a 35-point deficit. As you mentioned, Coach, it's about pride, not making this a complete wipeout. Yeah, and you know, they've had such a good World Cup. You don't want to end it on a sour note. Obviously disappointing with the deficit right now, but need to finish this game out the right way. Good to the Eurostep, kicks out to Dubrich. Patient passing, Ramovic goes for the three-pointer. Look at this one. Well, these are going to be ver seven long minutes here for the Dominican players. But pride needs to be the key as Cat goes in, draws a contact, and he'll go to the free throw line for the M1. Yeah, nice uh, drive there from Cat. You saw on the catch immediately attacking Petrusev downhill. No, defensively, Serbia have gone to the game plan. You know, Cat's going to get his numbers, 22 points so far this evening, but. You know, really frustrating the supporting Casa players, Andreas Feliz, not to mention Victor Lees as well. It's been tough for them. Uh, really has, forcing 21 turnovers. 
you know, you see the offense of Serbia, but you can't forget their aggressive physical defense able to create points off of the opponent's turnovers. Back to a Goodrich. Can't just make it look easy. I mean, sometimes Serbia execute an offense and the ball doesn't touch the floor. Well, their players move so well without the ball, all of them well versed in how to change pace, cut hard to the basket. Leads for the three in the corner, and that cuts it down to 31. Well, certainly at the moment, just cruising. Ramage getting a hand off of Petrushev. Fakes the behind the back pass, but still gets it to count. Uh, Ramovic just toying with the Dominican defense. Yeah, really nice finish there to his strong left hand. Well, Dominican Republic, we have the Olympic qualifiers to look forward to, of course, but also the FIBA America qualifiers. This team have only won a bronze medal in the FIBA America, but that will be the next big competition for them that will be hosted by FIBA in 2025. So, you know, there's a lot of promise and potential for this Dominican Republic team. Let's give them a lot of credit, pay the homage they deserve in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers when they had to really dig deep collectively and defeat Argentina in that final game to earn this spot here. Well, they really did, you know, huge underdogs to get here. You know, there's a lot of different scenarios in terms of getting to the Olympic qualifying tournament, but I think the point differential for them is not going to be in their favor. So definitely a chance that this might be their last go around for this Olympic cycle. Remember, Serbia and the Dominican Republic did meet in the 2021 Olympic OQT that was held in Belgrade, Serbia. Boban Marjanovic, player that you remember you coached against in the 2019 FIBA World Cup. And the Serbians had their field day that day against the Dominican Republic. The narrative will stay the same so far. Govic behind the back. Find Petrushev. Goodrich. Tries to go for the three-point again, but Trushev is going to throw it down one hand. 33-point yeah. deficit, Coach. I mean, this is hard for the DR. Just unable to stop Serbia anyway. Cat's still battling, of course. It's been a phenomenal FIBA Basel World Cup from the three-time NBA All-Star. And the Major's debut for this Dominican Republic national team 10 years ago as a youngster. And what an honor it has been for him to represent his country here at world's highest level of basketball. Jovic behind the back. Are you kidding me? Oh, baby. Yeah, we might need to call Nikola Magic Jovic. Well, that's twice we've seen the beautiful behind the back pass. The first time Petrusev not ready for it, but this time able to catch it and finish it with authority. That step back, three point is up, no good. Serbia again, just looking to pile on the pressure. Goodrich, too casual with the ball, finds Victor Lezer in transition. Dobrić is gonna try and block this one, but it's no to, to no avail, excuse me. Yeah, but you see it right there. Serbia is up 31 points, yet here's Dobrić sprinting back, trying to block it from behind. It's that intensity and effort that really sets this Serbia team apart. You know, things like that, I'd have to ask you as a coach, that's not coaching. That's intrinsic motivation. That's a mindset, isn't it, from these players? Well, that's the culture of basketball in Serbia. You know, the first thing that comes to mind is toughness. I've been fortunate enough to coach some very good Serbian players and unfortunately coach against a lot of good Serbian players. Uh, but this is their mantra for basketball. You know, really be tough and physical. Well, many would argue that Serbia, like countries such as Lithuania, the heartbeat of European basketball, culture of these countries, history, as Abramovich goes in, traveling violation, but, you know, you can really enjoy a lot of historical context if you study the, you know, the history of the former Yugoslavia. I mean, so many greats, I mean, on this, in this arena, 1978, they, this was the thriller in the Manila, the former Yugoslavia, which was made of many great, I mean, Magic Jovic, fighting Petrushev. That's a bit of Africa, Dabra moment there. Yeah, you've seen the skills on display for the young 20-year-old. Ristic coming in, getting his first minutes in the game. It was really good when Petrusev was out. Also, Carl Anthony Towns coming out of the game. Nice round of applause for him and what he's done for this national team here at the World Cup. 
Oh, block shot from Petrusha. But you know, going back to the history we were talking about, I think the former Yugoslavia won their first FIBA Barca World Cup in 1970, I believe, which was in Uruguay. Could have the date wrong there, but ultimately, well, nice little post move there by Ristic. Again, the most recent success of the FIBA Barca World Cup was their current coach, Coach Pesic. You know, Vladi Divac, Dejan Bodoroga, Peja Stojakovic, Marko Jaric. You're defeating Reggie Miller, the United States in the quarterfinals, but then taking, you know, an unproven manager Ginobili in the final. The history of this country and the pride of their basketball, I mean, it's just, there's no way you could, you know, solidify or quantify it. It just is amazing. No, it really is. Uh, one of the few places where basketball reigns supreme in Europe, obviously soccer prominent throughout that area, but, you know, this is the heart blood of this country. Right now, they're so proud of their national team. You know, the good thing about Serbian basketball, you got the two big titans of European basketball, Partizan and Sotoven, as the Red, Red, Belgrade Red Star, both Belgrade teams, but you've also got key clubs that develop talent such as Nikola Jovic, KK Megabaskets, KK Borats. You know, they have a system where they just want to bring players through the system, through their ABBA League, and really develop for the national team. And that's what we get to see the very best here in the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Yeah, no question. Uh, their ability to, to really develop skilled players, guys that can understand how to play. Of course, the Joker in the NBA, the perfect example of that right now. And you see all the skills he's able to show night in and night out for the Nuggets. Well, Guterres just putting on a bit of hot sauce there. Well, I think you heard us talking about the Belgrade Derby at one point, but he just came ready to play in that instance. These pump fakes. Kidoni's left wide open, takes a deep three. It just gets it to rattle in and cuts it back down a 32-point deficit with under two minutes to go. Well, Serbia and the Italians making it out of Araneta. They'll be heading to the Mall of Asia for the quarterfinals. Right now, some other interesting results going on at the moment. The big game, of course, is between Spain and Canada. That's happening in Indonesia. United States were trailing by 20 to Lithuania. They're slowly coming back in this game, Coach. Well, it'll be interesting to see if the United States wins that game. They are going to cross over with this Serbian team in a quarterfinal, and what a matchup that would be. Trushev getting fouled by Solano. You know what? If this Serbian team, we talk about mindset, culture, understanding. They could be a team best fit to maybe derail the United States. That team, of course, led by Anthony Edwards. Well, if you think about it, really outside of a five-minute moment in that game against Italy, they have had their way with every opponent so far. You know, offensively, just so well-tuned and attack both in transition and in the, the half-court. It's going to be a tough matchup for anybody. And Petrusha missing the first free throw. Serbia well above the century mark here. 112 points for the Serbians. And you are just witnessing excellence at the highest level here, exemplified by this national team. Solano pump fakes, makes a bit of a bump, and unable to secure this one. One minute to go from Serbia, getting to the quarterfinals. They'll find out their opponents later tonight. Another deep three by Marinkovic. You know, the Dominican Republic, we have to, as I mentioned, we have paid respect and homage to them. A lot of promise with this national team as Victor Lee is unable to secure the three-pointer. Let's be very excited to see, you know, the champions of the 2022 America Cup as Jovic goes in with the Eurostep Cup finish. Not featuring here at the FIBA World Cup. So those America qualifiers are going to be very interesting. Well, neither coach wanted to call timeout this game respectfully has been dead and buried but now you can see the Serbian players they have done it they're going to take the victory pay respect to their opponent shake hands well ladies and gentlemen I'm Josh Ben he's Will Voigt we thank you for joining us here at the Araneta Coliseum now it's on our way to the quarterfinals Serbia win this one 112 to 79 Heidi Itelmu Serbia those fans they continue to believe in themselves, but Dominican Republic, coach, they've been fantastic in the group stage, but it just hasn't gone that way in the crossover. Yeah, you know, excellent start to this World Cup. Obviously, the huge win versus Italy, and I really think it's going to be that Puerto Rico game that they're going to go back 
and, and really be disappointed about. Obviously, Serbia, very tough opponent for anybody. But had they been able to defeat their rival, they would be moving on right now instead of Italy. Well, big celebrations for the Serbian players and their fans. They are just relishing this opportunity. Phenomenal performance from these players. Well, there could be a saying, why not us? Why not now, coach? Well, this Serbian team, I think, has looked as good as anybody in the World Cup. Really, just the Serbia killers of Italy who have had their number have been the only ones to put up a fight against them. Well, it is a privilege and an honor to represent your country here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And a huge respect to these Serbian players with their fans. Look at that sight there. Ja volim košarku srpsku i delmu Serbia, as they would say back in Serbia. This is your moment. Why not now? Why not Serbia? It could be their FIBA Vassal World Cup. What a beautiful sight that is to see players and fans celebrating together the brotherhood, the prate, led by Bogdanovic and Nikola Milutinov. Well, Dominicans did leave with more three-point field goals than the Serbians, but 35 field goals with inside the rainbow, coach. That is spectacular. Yeah, and, you know, 30 assists in their offense just humming, but 34 points off a fast break, 29 points off of turnovers, and 70 to 32 advantage points in the paint. Dominant performance by Serbia. Phenomenal performance from these players. Veteran Boggy will pick up the TCL Player of the Game Award. No surprise and a great response from his leadership after his input against the Italians of only one for 13 for the perimeter. Well, we got to say, best plays coming here for the fourth quarter. Dobrich, at this point, it was second string players on the Serbian team that came in. But you know what? The job was already done by then, coach. Yeah, you know, at this point, it's really about playing for pride. See the Dominican Republic able to start out forcing the turnover. Well, Mendoza going that one, maybe getting rid of the travel, but. In that case, just turning it over, finding a wide open wrist. It's a dime coming from Davidovats. A simple finish, but that was how the game went, coach. Well, everybody that took the floor for Serbia played with intensity, shared the ball beautifully. Phenomenal performance from these Serbian players. Back door. Guterich just going in with a sweet little fanger off the backboard. Yeah, nice cut there. The pass from up top. You see the beautiful passing throughout this game by Serbia. Well, there was a three in the corner by Victor Lees. But again, it's just the pick and roll action, faking the pass and just playing my games there with the Dominicans' home side defense, Montero and Carl Anthony Towns. So coming, but again, another wide open look. I mean, at one point, it was 52 points in the paint for Serbia. We hadn't even finished the fourth quarter. Well, I mean, it finished with 70 points in the paint, and that was really the issue all game. The Dominican Republic really struggling with their pick and roll defense. Well, magic moment here, the spin out. We need to find the translation for magic in Serbia. I mean, that is unreal by Stefan Jovic, Nikola Jovic, excuse me. Stefan Jovic, the backcourt player, who had a phenomenal FIBA Basel World Cup as well. Yeah, beautiful pass there, and you can see Bogey thanking the fans. That's incredible. Giving the TCL award away, I believe, to his parents. I'm assuming that's his parents. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was, but... Uh... We'll have to find out that one, but... Well, there you have it, Basel fans. We thank you for joining us. Coach, I want to say thank you as well. It has been an honor to broadcast these games with you at the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup at the Arenada Coliseum. No, I appreciate that, Josh. It's been an incredible experience here and really looking forward to this knockout round. Well, more games to come as we head to the quarterfinals in the Mall of Asia. And you can follow Coach Will Voigt next season in the NBA G League with the Austin Spurs. But for now, to all of our fans in Serbia, La Noche, Dovigenia, and to all of our fans in Dominican Republic, adios and buenas noches.